Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss lean concrete. We will discuss all about lean concrete which include purpose, advantages, mix ratio, use for lean concrete, the uses of lean concrete and comparison of lean concrete with ordinary or rich concrete. So before we start our today's topic, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates. So let's start our today's topic. First of all, what is lean concrete? A concrete with cement content less than about 10% of the total contents can be called lean concrete. More the aggregates to cement ratio, the leaner is the concrete. It means that the other aggregates, for example, fine aggregate and coarse aggregate are in greater quantity as compared to cement. Less amount of paste is available to provide lubrication per surface area of the aggregates. Lean concrete refers to a mix where the cement used is less than water. Concrete with high ratio of aggregate to cement is called lean concrete. Now what is the difference between lean concrete and ordinary concrete or rich concrete? The main difference between lean and ordinary or rich concrete is that lean concrete contains less cement compared to the water content present in it. This means when compared to ordinary plain cement concrete that is Portland or plain cement concrete, the lean concrete has smaller ratio of cement to water content. Why it is called lean concrete? Concrete bends or deform more if aggregate cement ratio is higher because there is less paste available for providing lubrication to provide smoothness and aggregates per unit of surface. Aggregates have lower mobility. The higher the aggregate cement ratio, the leaner the concrete. It is not rich concrete. It is poor and weak because of lesser quantity of cement in it. Cement is costlier ingredient of the concrete. It means that it is called lean concrete or weak concrete because the binding agent that is cement which is used in the concrete is the costlier ingredient of concrete and it is called lean concrete because of lesser quantity of cement present in it. Now what are the purposes of lean concrete or what are the uses of lean concrete? Lean concrete serves the purpose of providing a uniform surface to the concrete foundation. This also helps to prevent direct contact of the foundation concrete from the soil. This is a good choice to provide a flat bottom for a terrain that is uneven or dirty. As the lean concrete uses lesser amount of cement, it is used in the fillings or under the foundations so that the structure is protected from the soil. A very level surface over which a foundation type can be placed is mainly made with the lean concrete. Protecting the foundation from the attack of moisture and chemicals in soil by having a layer of lean concrete in between the structure and the soil is a widespread application. Now, mixed ratios and grades of a lean concrete. Grade of concrete that is M5 whose ratio is 1 ratio, 5 ratio, 10. That is 1 is for cement, 5 is for sand and 10 is for aggregate. As you can see over here, here is the amount of aggregate is much more higher as compared to cement. That's why it is called lean concrete that the cement amount is very less. M5 grade concrete will give a total characteristic strength of 5 megapascal. As the name indicate M5, 5 means 5 mega pascals. The other grade of concrete that is used for lean concrete is M7.5 and its ratio is 1 ratio, 4 ratio, 8. 1 is for cement, 4 sand and 8 is for coarse aggregate. And M7.5 grade concrete will give a total characteristic strength of 7.5 mega pascal. The third 
mix ratio a grade of concrete which is used for lean concrete is m10 m10 grade concrete having the ratio of 1 ratio 3 ratio 6 again 1 is for cement 3 is for sand and 6 is for aggregates now if you look at these ratios the amount of coarse and fine aggregate is much higher as compared to cement content that's why it is called lean concrete greater the amount of cement the richer will be the concrete lesser the amount of cement lean will be the leaner will be the concrete and m10 grade gives the strength of 10 mega pascals now what are the recommended thicknesses for lean concrete for dams and water retaining structure foundations the thickness of lean should be 75 millimeters for foundation on rough or harsh conditions the thickness of lean should be 100 millimeters for small structures like septic tank and sewerage manholes thickness should be equal to 50 millimeters for isolated foundation of a building thickness should be equal to 75 millimeters for paired or rough foundation thickness should be equal to 50 millimeters now coming towards the advantages of lean concrete lean concrete creates a uniform foundation surface and protects it from direct contact with the soil we use the lean concrete mostly under the foundations to protect our slab as you can see over here in this picture to avoid the direct contact of the steel with the soil we provide lean concrete underneath the level surface also helps in fixing reinforcement the bottom rebar of foundation slab requires a good amount of cover to avoid rusting the other purpose of lean is to avoid rusting which could which can be achieved by providing a gap between or avoiding the direct contact between the soil because soil contain moisture and which is which results in rusting of the steel so lean protect the steel from rusting it provides a solid concrete foundation that can easily reinforce with steel it avoids direct content contact between foundation concrete and soil it protects the main foundation from ground below that is moisture and other chemicals such as phosphates can cause concrete to crack or become weaker that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates